guys today I'm on my way to Harbor Freight to pick up one more item that's pretty large that'll help me work on these uh, motorcycles actually it'll help save my back you probably can figure out what I'm going to get for me in order for me to have to bring this trailer and as you can see the trailer is pretty much done I have the e-track hooked up added the wood to the trailer quarter inch plywood and now I'm running e-track just drilled a hole for the plates to go underneath and I have the e-track straps hooked up to help me carry the load and if I was picking up a motorcycle today I also have the e-track wheel chocks to put across the front to help me carry uh, bikes whenever I need to pick them up well all right so let me go and uh pick up what i have to pick up i guess you guys can guess what i'm about to get but i'll let you see in a moment all right later just left harbor freight and by the look of the cargo i guess you can tell what it is so this was my first run with this trailer and actually it ran good i didn't go that far only about eight miles but the straps works out good the trailer runs you know tracks real good and now I'm heading home there it is motorcycle lift that's what I went to pick up from Harbor Freight Now that I have this lift all together, I'm gonna fix the, the weak point, which is the clamp. I'm gonna do what everybody else does and change that clamp out for the one that, uh, the chalk that has the automatic wheel lock. Cause I don't trust this at all. This is it right here. The Pittsburgh wheel chalk from Harbor Freight. All right, got the new wheel chalk installed on the lift. Now I should be good to go. All right, now it's locked in perfect. Nice and stable. Now I can really dive into this road glide and Get it ready for the road. This lift has uh, two pedals. One to lift it up and one to let it down. The big one in the front is to lift it up and the little one behind it is to let it down. I'll lift it up and let y'all guys take a look and see how it works. that it comes with is to lock it in once you uh, get it up to one of the locking points underneath you see the two holes one is a lower level and one is a little higher so I'm gonna lift it up and uh, slide this locking pole into the lowest hole at its for its highest point enough 
Not quite. A little bit more. Is it still stable? This thing lifts up high, higher than I thought. Okay, just making sure I don't hit the garage door. Okay, I'm getting close, but not yet. See, is it still stable on here? I don't have the strap. Oh, wow, I don't even have the straps that tight to tighten up these straps. But this chalk is working good. The bike still ain't moving, even though I don't have these uh, straps <sighs> that tight. I don't want to put too much downforce on the suspension. Just go let it click. It should be good. Get in now. All right, it locked in. Let's check the other side. Make sure. Okay. Oh, and by the way, just to let you guys know, it has these uh, legs on it that you just tighten down right in front of the front casters on both sides so the table don't move once it's up in the air. So overall, I think this is a pretty decent buy. It's pretty it's pretty strong for what it was. They have this uh, 05 Road Glide sitting on it right now. I don't know exactly how much this weigh. I have it got a little stripped down. I don't have the tank and none of the fenders and stuff on it, but only that raggedy seat, which I'll be replacing. But uh, it holds it holds it well. It's stable, feels stable, especially with this wheel chalk. It's good to go now. So now I just lower it down a little bit. Until next time, I'm out.